Maybe you think you know the origin of the oh-so-naughty middle finger. We call it flipping the bird, the middle finger salute, the highway salute, the New York hello, and many other cute names. You might have heard this tale, which has been circling the internet for nearly a decade, but is there an ounce of truth in it? This is one of the possible origins of the middle finger. Sure, the story is interesting, but is it true? And it's a little suspicious that it always ends with, and you thought you plucking knew everything. Well, do you? During the Hundred Years' War, the English were led by King Henry V. The French had King Charles VI, but he wasn't able to lead due to some mental incapacities. Instead, they were led by Charles Advert. The event was called the Battle of Agincourt since it was the closest city to the site of the battle. The French had a great numerical advantage over the English, but what the English had was the famous longbow, and a lot of them. However, the French still apparently caught and captured English bowmen and cut off their middle fingers so they'd be unable to draw their bows and make them useless for further battles. The English longbow, made from the yew tree, was called plucking the yew. The English taunted the French during the battle, raising their middle fingers in defiance and yelling, I can still pluck you. The English, despite being outnumbered, carried out several attacks and eventually won the battle and ended the war. So the battle did happen, but why can't the parts about cutting off the middle fingers be true? Well, first, there were several heralds that recorded the battle for history, none of which made any mention of the French actually cutting off the English bowman's middle fingers. You'd think that somewhere it would have slipped in, but it didn't. Second, you need both your index and middle finger to draw the English longbow. Therefore, the French would have to cut off both fingers. This story could actually be the origin of the English V sign. Well, it would at least make more sense. The most likely origin dates all the way back to Greece where it was called this thing, and in Rome where it was called that. And today, regardless of the history, giving someone the middle finger still means-